Buzz Stones Airwaves. Hey, this is Buzz, signing in with episode 42 of Airwaves. In this episode, I'm going to be demoing my new antenna switch. It's actually an antenna transmitter switch. It's made by MFJ. It's the MFJ 1700C antenna. Picked this up uh, on eBay recently. Um, got a pretty good price on it. It said it was used, but it came in the original box with all the packaging and I don't see any signs of wear on it. And uh, the best price I had found for one of these, uh, just buying it uh, new, was $119 and uh, got this on uh, eBay for uh, 75 bucks so pretty good deal I think and this was something that really uh, filled a need that I had I'm gonna put up on the screen here in a second uh, the configuration I had for all my coax cables uh, coming into the ham shack here from the outdoor antennas and of course the radios and I had uh, as you'll see in the picture here I had two um, two connector coax switches one is a Daiwa uh, that's the light blue one and the darker blue one is I believe uh, I believe it's an MFJ um, they're basically exactly the same switch just with a different name on it and they work they work great but I was getting so many antennas out on the antenna farm um, I couldn't just keep adding all these coax switches and uh, plus there were some times when I wanted to share an antenna uh, with two different radios so then that required uh, you know disconnecting reconnecting coax cables so I looked around and found this of course it's been around for a long time but this really fills the need and I want to first point out that these are only rated for HF frequencies uh, once you get up in VHF and UHF, it gets uh, kind of lossy, from what I've been told. And I do, I do intend to run a six-meter uh, antenna and radio through this, and uh, of course around 50 megahertz. So hopefully we won't it won't be too lossy at that frequency, but uh, we'll figure that out later on. But uh, what's really great about this uh, switch here is you have these two rotary switches. You have one for the transmitters and one for the antennas. And I already had all this connected up, but for the sake of this video, I had to disconnect some cables so you could get a good look at it. But, um, and you see I've labeled uh, my connections here um, with a, uh, a label maker. And currently I've got my Zygu G90, uh, a CB radio and the TYT TH9800 uh, going into the transmitter side and on the antenna side I've got the Starduster M400 um, I've got the future 6 meter which I have not mounted yet I really need to get a tower up uh, I've got so many antennas on on a vertical pole right now there's really too many on there and that's why I've uh, haven't got the six meter up yet and been able to do a review of the TYT which has six meters on it and I also have my 80 meter dipole which I use with the Zygu G90 and uh, so what you can do with this you'll see transmitter is labeled A through F and antenna is labeled 1 through 6 and if you look all around the perimeter of this you'll see uh, the letters here for the transmitter and numbers for the antenna and they wrap all the way around the unit here and uh, so simply you know if you want to let's say I've got the G90 and uh, I want to run it on the 80 meter dipole so I set it for G90 which is A uh, the way I have it configured and uh, it's number six on the antenna but let's say uh, I was operating on 10 meters and I wanted to use the Starduster M400 then I could just switch this over there and leave this on the G90 and easily switch the antennas and I also have this MFJ 
dummy load here. It's a 300 watt dummy, dry dummy load. I also have that uh, set up here as uh, one of the antenna choices. So when I'm not using the radios and I can just set it to dummy and uh, I don't accidentally turn something on and uh, you know burn up my radio if I didn't have the, the coaxes connected but if there's a storm or something I can switch over to dummy load as well and just leave it that when I'm not using the radios or if it's storming. There's also a ground post on the side of the switch right here and I have a ground strip uh, down here on the bottom of my desk and I'm using uh, this braided copper uh, strap that will run up and screw onto here to keep it grounded. But something else that I really like about this switch is it has a common. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. I've got the coax. You have a common for the transmitter and you have a common for the antenna. Now what those do, that is a common connection for instance, the common for the transmitter, it's a common connection to all of the positions on your rotary switch here, and likewise on the antenna. So what you can do, you could do this uh, really with any kind of equipment you want to put in line, like for instance a, a linear amplifier, or in, in my case, what I've done is I've connected uh, my Palomar uh, power and SWR meter, put that in line, turn on around the back here and basically what you do is you run uh, your transmitter common out to the input of the Palomar then the output of the Palomar to the antenna common on the MFJ switch that way your SWR meter is always in the loop so no matter which transmitter transceiver and which antenna I have selected, the uh, Palomar SWR power meter is going to be in the circuit so I can use it to measure uh, SWR or uh, power. And it, uh, so you know, there's no moving it around from radio to radio, antenna to antenna. And like I said, you could do the same thing with a linear amplifier. So um, this was the only thing I could find. Uh, and I'm sure there's something else maybe you could uh, post down in the comment section if you know something that will do the same thing as this but it has six inputs six transmitter uh, inputs and uh, six for the antenna so you got a lot of flexibility you know it's it's not a real expensive piece of gear I'm sure there's probably some uh, electronic switchers out there that could do the same thing but I'm sure they would cost quite a bit more as well so anyway, just wanted to give you a look at this, um, the model MFJ1700C. There's an earlier model that I believe is just a 1700. It doesn't have the C on there, but it's a completely different configuration. And MFJ also makes some other uh, multi-input um, antenna switches, but this is the only one I saw that was actually transmitter and antenna and it was really just what I needed for the ham shack here to uh, simplify things. So it'll take the place of the, uh, the two coax uh, switches that I had there uh, before. And uh, again, I want to remind you, this is only rated for the HF uh, bands. So, um, you know, it's not, it's not rated to be used with VHF or UHF radios. Hopefully, again, it'll be okay with the uh, six meter antenna and radio that I plan to use later on through this. But anyway, just a quick video. This has been episode 42 of Airways. I'm Buzz Stone. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and be sure to share it with a friend. And we'll see you down the dial.